Hello there, Gemini and Gemini Rising friends, Sandra from For Your Chi, and this is your January 2024 read. Wow, welcome to January already. Sorry about that noise in the background. That's the robot vacuum vacuum itself, vacuuming itself out. I forgot about that. It does that every time. Okay, every time it's done. So... Here we are in January. Same story here. We're going to be going over your first six houses here on YouTube. The remainder of this reading will be on Patreon. The link is below. Tier 2 is what you want for that. Tier 2 subscribers will also get you my Tier 1 predictions, which are all 12 sign predictions for the 2024 that I did for three parts career, money, and relationship for all 12 signs. But let's get into your reading. First house, where you are at in the first couple of days of January. Gemini. New beginnings. Well, that's exciting for a Gemini. Geminis love new things and they love to try new things and it looks like you are taking a brand new step in a brand new direction new venture or adventure. Um, now, it could be that you're just getting word of this new venture or you're preparing yourself somehow. Uh, it could be mentally or physically preparation. They're saying within the next few weeks, you will fully, this new opportunity or whatever this is, will fully launch, will fully take place. Um, but now you have like decided to go that route or sign some papers, you know, something like that. Okay, very good. Congratulations. Second house, your money, your stuff. You've been sweeping a certain subject matter under the rug, and now it's time to deal with it once and for all. Uh, issues related to money. This could be issue related to an, uh, an item of yours. So as it relates to an item, you know, it could be something that you have known that has needed to be repaired or replaced could be a larger item, but you have just sort of kicked the can down the road. And now you know that you can't go much longer or maybe another day without taking care of it. There's some business that needs to be taken care of here by you in the second house. This could also be tidying up money matters, paying bills, paying debts off or the need to. Uh, this could be like a consolidation loan, something like that. And you have a yes, which is exacerbated by the truth card. The yes exacerbates the truth card. Twofold reading. Like they're, they're trying to bring the point home, Gemini, that this needs to be dealt with now, whatever this is. Now, maybe this is the need for you to uh, do up a draft some kind of budget. Geminis don't like to hear that uh, oftentimes unless you have like a Capricorn rising or Capricorn moon or Virgo moon or rising or something like that. <sighs> Nevertheless, that's what the message is. Your third... Now, this could actually be the credit card bill coming in too from the holidays. Don't forget. Your third house, brother or sister, well, they have an alpha here, or perhaps your brother or sister is the alpha. And if that's the case, you're like, well, yeah, my brother's been an alpha his whole life. Well, that means he's going to be an alpha on steroids. Um, but, you know, with this alpha card comes success. Now, the alpha, don't forget, can also be female, right? Alpha is the energy, not the gender. Um, strong, domineering type personality. Uh, this alpha takes care of business, though. So if this is a new alpha that presents themselves in your brother or sister's life, uh, just know that they will be getting things done and they will be working in the favor of, of your brother or sister for the month, at least for the month of January. Uh, who knows about the future, right? People change their mind all the time. Your fourth house, house of home, where you currently live, memories of love. This is you reminiscent of times past. Um but at home. So you could be having um, a flood of memories that come up from when you first bought your house or, you know, you could be returning home for some of you. Like 
your childhood home, things of that nature. Uh, they're saying meditation brings answers here. Okay, so you could be missing someone who maybe was supposed to be home from the holidays and they couldn't come. There was a lot of that this year with people getting um, the crud and stuff like that. A lot of people had to cancel their plans and cancel their flights, so it's possible that something like that happened to you, uh, especially if you were hosting like I was. Now, the other traditional placement for me as a reader in the fourth house is your father. The fathers can sometimes show up in the fourth house. This is not talking about your home or where you live. So your father could be jogged down memories uh, past. Um, and who knows if you can talk him into meditation, okay? Because I know that if my dad were alive, he'd be like, no effing way is he doing that. So, but maybe your dad is cool. Unlike a lot of older folks out there. Okay, nothing against the older folk, but you know what I mean. Fifth house, they're just, some of them are set in their ways, even though it's not working for them. Fifth house, social life, fun, friends, dating, for those of you single Geminis. Oh, financial and material changes. Okay, so this is, the good news is, this is not you. I don't think, unless you're severely cutting back your budget on what you've been spending out on nightlife. Um, go, you know, going out on the town, things of that nature. You do have take action here. Okay. Now, for those of you that needed the budget, like perhaps the second house and the fifth house are related, perhaps you do need to cut back in that area if you've been going buck wild. For those of you that have not gone buck wild in that example, this could be a friend that has a money issue or problem, or perhaps they've just gotten laid off, or, you know, their partner has gotten laid off that they share money with or share bills or expenses or something like that. Um, the advice card is to take action here. So action needs to be taken either by you, if this is you in your budget, like I said, this could also be your friend that needs to take some action in resolving or fixing this issue somehow they can't just sit around and do nothing about this this is what i'm trying to get at and you may need to be the quick witted gemini that steps in to give this advice like you know like my grandmother used to say you can pray about it and that's good but you're going to have to do something about it too and this person is definitely going to have to take some control over what's happening to them um, and it might even be drastic action. They may have to actually go out and get a, if this is a layoff situation, they may actually have to go out and just get a random job somewhere that pays something for right now. Um, and it could be multiple random jobs, right? Depending on their situation. Sixth house, work and health, though, partnerships and alliances. Well, I like this. Um, this could be you signing a new contract for work. Perhaps you did just get a new job and that's where the new beginnings card is coming in. Good for you if that's the case. This could also be some sort of promotion. Um, you could also have multiple offers coming into you now, to you now, especially for those of you that have been looking for a job for many moons now. You do have reconsider. So we are, as I record this, in Mercury retrograde, but as January uh, first happens and then the first two weeks are over with in January, we'll, we will be beyond that Mercury retrograde shadow period. So you may have accepted an offer and then another offer comes in after that. And before you turn it away, I would really give this a second or third glance at it and do some comparisons. You may actually have to get a reading about this to figure out which way is the best way to go for you. I'm really excited about this for you, Gemini, because I have a Gemini client who's been waiting for quite some time um, to get an offer 
that he has been happy with. So I'm going to have to reach out to him and uh, let him know that this video is being uploaded and it's been recorded. All right. So let's look at who's around you in your seventh house of primary relationships before we go to the extended reading. Okay, so we have two sword cards here. We know that is another air sign, another Gemini perhaps, or a Libra or Aquarius as usual. And then we have um, the rods here, which are fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, if you want to follow me in the extended, like I said, the link is below. It's on Patreon. Tier 2 is what you want for that. And we're going to be going over your 7th house of primary relationships, including romance angel cards, and that also rules business partnerships for those of you that that is applicable to. Your 8th house of intimacy, taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income. Your ninth house of career and travel, your 10th house of, or excuse me, Ninth house of travel and school. Tenth house of career and your mother. Looking good. Eleventh house of your child or your best friend in the twelfth house. What's about to happen three months from now? Look for it in April. Many blessings to you, Gemini. Take care.